We are working on a cloud pour today and I am a little bit nervous because this is my first time doing a canvas this big with a cloud pour. This is a 20 inch by 20 inch canvas. Um, I prepped my canvas by taping up the back and I put some push pins in it and made sure it was level. So we should be ready to go with the canvas. Um, I have a lot of colors today because I got a little overly excited about, about my color palette idea. I was thinking about morning glories and I love how many different colors they come in. I love the blues and the purples and the magentas and, and the bright pop of yellow in the middle. And that's what inspired this piece. It will look nothing like a morning glory whatsoever. However, I'm hoping that the color vibe comes through. Um, so let's go through all of the colors really quickly uh, without taking too much time. So the first color I'm gonna use for my pop of yellow is Artist Loft Metallic Lemon Yellow. I don't particularly like Artist Loft, honestly, most of the time. Um, and this one I'm hit or miss on, but I figured I just want a tiny pop of yellow in the middle, and that's the only place I'm going to use it, so hopefully, hopefully it'll be fine for that. Uh, the next one I'm going to be using is this little piggy mermaid. I'm gonna follow that up with my combo of Atelier Thalo Turquoise and Liquitex Transparent Mixing White. I mix them half and half. Then I'll go in with my cloud mix. My cloud mix is made of Artist Loft Soft Body Acrylic Paint in white and Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels in pure white. After that, we are going in with Liquitex Quinacridone Magenta. I'm gonna follow that up with this little piggy Nightfall. We'll follow that with Liquitex uh, Thalo Blue. Then I think some more Cloud Mix. And then we're going to do Diox Purple. Amsterdam Sky Blue Light. And finally, Amsterdam Greenish Blue. So that's all of the million colors that I've chosen for today. I'm going to check everything's consistency and make sure that the consistency is the same on all of my paints. I'm looking for a two to three second trace when I swirl the paints around uh, and drizzle it back. I'm looking for about a two to three second trace. So hang on just a minute and I'll be right back. All right, time to layer the cup. First, we're going in with a little splash of Metallic Lemon Yellow by Artist Loft. Next, I'm gonna come in with some Mermaid from this little piggy. I am going to follow that with a mix of Atelier's Thalo Turquoise and Liquitex Transparent Mixing White. Then we're gonna follow that up with my Cloud Mix. Next, we're gonna go in with Liquitex Quinacri Quinacridone Magenta. We are going to follow that up with this little piggy nightfall. I've got a little goober in my paint. Taking that out. Okay, so next up, this little piggy nightfall. After that, we're going to go to Liquitex Thalo Blue. We are going to follow that up with some more Cloud Mix. And then Liquitex Dioxazine Purple. Then Amsterdam Sky Blue Light. And then some Amsterdam greenish blue. Maybe a little 
more cloud mix. Dropping cloud mix on my canvas. Okay, then what do we want to do next? All right, maybe some more greenish blue. Then back to the turquoise. We are going to finish this off with my slop bucket black sparkle. All right, this cup is looking pretty good. Um, this is a 16 ounce cup, and I calculated how much paint I would need for a 20 inch by 20 inch canvas with half inch around the sides, and it's about 17 and a half ounces so i am going to have to put down a couple of ounces of black which i have ready to go um, so i will do that before we get started take a look at that cup and the layering all right so black okay we're ready to go let me clean up some of this mess first so I don't get paints in my paints.
All right, we're gonna torch it a bit, <clears throat> pop all the air bubbles. to let it sit for about five minutes and maybe I'll get some cleaning up done while I'm doing that so I'm not tempted to poke at it and then I'll come back and we'll stretch it out. All right before we tilt this out we're going to add a little bit of a buffer around with my slot bucket. Here goes nothing, I suppose. So we're going to tilt slowly toward each corner. Very slowly, there's a lot of paint. And then we're gonna bring it back to the center. it out toward this corner. And back to the center. straight down across to the other corner. And back to center. All right, and down toward that last corner. the center. All right, so we've got it about back at the center. Oh, push pins, please don't fall out. All right, so now we have to decide which corners we're going off of first and which ones to do with last. Hmm, decisions, decisions. All right, it's not gonna get any easier by staring at it. Um, I think I'm gonna do this corner first because I don't really care about it. <laughs> I'm not worried about losing it. So we're just going to tilt and go off. Really quick and back. All right, now I think I'm going to go for this corner next. Okay, so starting to get paint everywhere. All right, down we go. paint the weight of the paint back and go off the last corner. Okay, so we need to bring the weight of the paint back and then go off our final corner.
All right, I think what I'm gonna do is maybe tilt side to side a little bit more. I really like the brightness in the center and I feel like there's like this corner down here is pretty light and I really like that. Um, but I feel like this corner over here and the opposite corner are just a little too much with the dark colors and not enough with the light. So let's just see if we can't stretch it out a little bit side to side. feel like ugh, we're running out of paint it's not really moving a whole lot so I guess that's what we get let me take you down for a close-up <laughs> 